Well, thank you very much, Mohammed. Uh, dear friends and colleagues, it's uh, very nice to see you after the pandemic. Uh, my name is Lin Shen, I'm an associate professor from UH Manoa. Okay. Uh, today, I will just share you with some of our experience in the past, past few years about field application of semen free geopolitical country. Sometimes we also call it AC uh, using Flash, Slack, or Redmark. Uh, focused on optimized cost and also performance. Uh, here is the outline uh, because the time limit, I will focus on how we analyze precursors uh, more accurately and also how we monitor the kin kinetic reaction uh, based on Roman spectroscopy. And then uh, we'll talk about field application uh, and conclusions. We all know uh, countries made by cement, admixtures, water, stand, cross algae, and big company. Okay. And we also know we need sustainable alternative to cement to fight climate change. So that's one of the reasons we'll be here. We have this session today. Okay. So I just skip that. And uh, April last year, uh, Hawaii became the first US state to declare a climate emergency. A call for a ban on public and private investment that make climate change worse. Uh, this is an interview of Mr. Bill Gates uh, from last year, and I just quote here that uh, CMS over 6% of worldwide carbon emission, and yet we do not have a way of doing that that is clean, that does not cost the dramatically more, more than twice the price. Mm. But I believe in many cases, we can achieve that goal better, sometimes much better. Uh, cement production produces billion tons of raw materials from the Earth every year, about 3 billion. And at the same time, industry waste from coal burning process and the steel aluminum production process produce hundreds of million tons of flash, slag, and red mark every year. Uh, this is a video I took while I visited one of the largest aluminum producers, uh, Xinhua Group in Shandong province in China. Okay. And you can see uh, they got a lot of pollution from Renmar water. Okay. And rumors say Renmar could also cause city alkaline soil and even higher infertility rate in that area. This is another video I took uh, of the coal burning power plant for Xinhua Group. And this table shows the production, utilization percent, and also carbon print, uh, footprint for cement, flash, slag, and red mark. And we can see every year hundreds of million tons produced. And because the low utilization percent, uh, we have billion tons of flash, slag, and red mark landfill already. Okay, we are not using that. Uh, what is AEC? So AEC is for alkaline activity concrete. It's made by this waste material such as flash and slag and red mark mixing with admixtures. We call that alkaline admixtures. We also need water, sand, coarse algae. We mix together, we have concrete. So comparing normal concrete with AEC, we know the major difference is So when we replace cement with industry waste, we reduce the billion tons of CO2 from cement production. Okay. We also have to reduce the billion tons of excavation of raw materials. Okay. So we have to reduce a uh, landfill of billion tons of flash, slag, and red mar, so we could have cleaner air, water, and soil. Uh, here is a nice picture I took by my house in Hawaii. So everything looks nice and beautiful. Uh, what I want to see here is fighting climate change must be a group effort. Okay. So we live under one roof and we must work together to preserve our planet. All right. Uh, here are some uh, definition. What is alkaline activation? Basically, it's a reaction of solid aluminum silicates. Uh, we call them precursors such as flash, slag, and red mark, 
uh, under Arclay conditions using Arclay activators. I think many of us know that already. Okay. And AC uh, is not a new idea, as we can see from the short history. And based on the binder chemistry, we could have high calcium AM, low calcium, and blended system. Okay. So for example, under high, C, high calcium AM, uh, the reaction product including cash, uh, which is a longer uh, disorder topomerine like CSH, AF phase, uh, among others. For low calcium AM, we have that classic famous geopolymer. GL1, GL2, we call that NASH. And also we could have calcium hydroxide. Okay. And for the blended system, uh, we could have a mixture of CSH, CASH, NASH, and depending on the pH level, uh, we could have a different type of hydration product. Okay. So uh, the major goal for this research is large scale application of high performance and economic AC using standard equipment and also simple mixing procedure. Okay. So based on better analyzed precursors and also monitor kinetic reactions, uh, we try to optimize the mix design to balance the performance and the cost. All right, so I will quickly go over the precursor analysis using uh, you know, the classic uh, XRD and XRF. Uh, this is XRF, and this is XRD for different uh, uh, precursors. Uh, what we did here is we tried to estimate the percentage of reactive phase and the non-reactive phase. We also call that amorphous and the crystalline phase. Okay. Uh, combining XRF and XRD, so we can have a better estimation of these two phases, as well as the idea of the strength of crystalline phases. Uh, this is also very important. Uh, I will talk about it in a moment. Uh, this is our uh, local AS flash, uh, which is low quality flash. As we can see from here, uh, it's not a classic spherical shape, uh, has a larger particle size, a lot of impurities, uh, but we still managed to make some successful AC using that. Uh, this is a commercial flash, much higher quality, a spherical shape, uh, very reactive. Uh, we're trying to predict the final hydration product. Uh, for this case, is red mark AF based on this reactive component. Okay, so we're trying to predict what kind of hydration product uh, using this uh, ternary diagram and also XRD and XRF. And we trying to verify the hydration product using XRD. Uh, for this, this example, uh, red mark concrete. Uh, the major hydration product is CSH. Uh, we have some minor cash and NASH, uh, but mostly CSH. Okay. Uh, as we can also see from here, uh, the red mark generates a lot of CSH uh, among uh, hydroganic. Hydroganic is a crystalline uh, phase in red mark uh, because it is very strong. Although it's not reactive, it can be used as a filler to provide high strength. So actually, it's very easy to achieve very high strength for red mark concrete, uh, easily more than 100 megapascal. All right, uh, this is kind of interesting part. Uh, we use Roman spectroscopy to uh, monitor kinetic reaction, or the chemical reaction uh, of the activation activation uh, uh, process. Uh, we can use Roman to do many things, but this is the most interesting thing. Uh, this is some samples uh, for Raman. And uh, Raman is a light scattering technique uh, which can provide information such as uh, chemical structure, phase, polymorphism, crystallinity, and uh, molecule interaction. So this is some other Raman samples for different type of precursors, including uh, flash and uh, slag and redmar. We use uh, MATLAB code to quickly detect and quantify both crystal peaks and also amorphous bandwidths. Okay. So we can better quantify precursors and also monitor the 
kinetic reaction. Uh, this is an example of flash. All right. So molecular dissolution process using Roman spectroscopy. Here shows the example. Say we are interested in uh, zone one, which is a classy aluminum silicate region, and also zone 10, which is a glassy or reactive silicate region. Okay. And based on this video, uh, here shows the solution process versus time. Time five minutes, 20, 43 seconds. And we can see the dissolution speed changes over time and even reverse its direction in some cases. Right. So here shows uh, dissolution process versus dissolution uh, time. Okay. Uh, it's kind of reminds me of the classic hydration process of C3S. Uh, what we see here is completely set of dissolution, uh, which we see increase in concentration. And then uh, when the iron set saturated, we have the geopolymer generated. But in this case, we have more uh, sodium hydroxide. Then if you dissolve this geopolymer, uh, so we have a lower dissolution percent. Okay, uh, just show you an example of this uh, uh, monitoring dissolution process. Uh, we can also use Roman to detect the final product of AM. In this case, we have Nash, Cash, and some aluminum silicate bond. And uh, I will quickly go over performance evaluation in the lab, uh, which is pretty much in line with other researches, okay, including setting time, workability, slump loss, uh, strength, and some durability tests. Okay. Uh, workability and slump can be well controlled. Uh, strengths uh, satisfactory. Uh, again, it is very easy to achieve high strengths for this type of company. Uh, the hard part is how we can satisfy all fresh and hardened properties, as well as durability, safety, and cost. Uh, dry shrinkage, pretty much similar to uh, normal OPC. Uh, this is sulfate attack. Uh, it is pretty much immune to sodium sulfate, but similar to OPC for magnesium sulfate, uh, because we know, uh, you know it generates CSH, which could be affected by magnesium sulfate. Uh, ASR uh, is pretty much immune to uh, ASR problems, okay? uh, which is, again, consistent with other resources. Creep, similar, okay, no surprise here. And lastly, I will focus on field applications. So here is a case study using flash based on uh, AEC, and we can see we have more than 80% carbon footprint reduction, uh, more than 20% cost reduction, no cement use, uh, very good strengths, fresh property, hardened property, and durabilities. And uh, this is the video for in the concrete in one uh, province in China. This is another uh, video of the same project. And early next year, uh, two types of AAC will be used for Fertin Highway widening project. Uh, this is a Hawaii DOT sponsored project uh, in the island of, of Oahu. Uh, this is another case study using Redmart AAC uh, about two years ago. Same picture and uh, a short video about pouring the AAC uh, using Redmart. Alright. Uh, you know, here's another video showing Redmar concrete beside plant. Uh, Redmar is high alkali and toxic materials, which could cause serious groundwater and soil contamination. During the city I visit in Shandong province in China, so Redmar generates city alkali soil, and uh, basically no plant can grow there. Uh, even local infertility rate uh, rumors said higher due to this uh, protein groundwater and soil. Okay, and we can see here uh, a lot of grass beside AC. 
you buy red mark concrete. And uh, I believe that's the last slide. I just got information uh, yesterday. Uh, this is from CTL lab uh, showing us uh, leaching test to confirm the safety of AEC using uh, some local uh, low quality fly ash and uh, also red mark. We can see the great reduction uh, in lead, arsenic, and barium, uh, which below uh, the national drinking water regulations. Okay, so make sure it is safe. That's the number one first uh, priority. So, uh, in conclusion, so we have some better ways to analyze precursors. Uh, we also monitor the solution process using Raman, so that could help us optimize the mixed proportion and mixing procedure. Uh, some field application of AAC could achieve similar free, more than 80% reduction in carbon footprint, uh, more than 25% reduction in cost. Uh, that is depending on location. In some case, we could achieve more than 50% or even higher reduction in cost. Cost is very important. To make it mass production, you must make people like to use it to make it cheaper. Okay. Uh, the concrete can be cured at room temperature with very well controlled setting time, flowability, and other fresh properties. Uh, this is also very important. Uh, should set at room temperature, setting time should also be well controlled. Uh, hardening properties, durability, and safety are okay. And in many cases, we think they are mass production ready. And thank you. Uh, this is just some of the pictures where I visit uh, China during the pandemic. And uh, thank you so much. Any questions?